That's a hyacinth, also known as the Rose of Sharon. You know, it just grows. It doesn't think about whether or not it wants to. It doesn't try to grow. It doesn't think about becoming something else. It doesn't wonder if it's good enough. It just grows. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Beerman, and welcome to our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So what is the metaphysical ministry? Well, it's all about the fact that what we observe and live and enjoy in our lives, because we're using only five senses, we're getting less than 1%, less than 1% of what exists out there. And when you learn to go beyond what you can see, hear, touch, taste, smell, and you experience and allow yourself to experience more than what you can physically sense, oh my goodness, life gets so much richer. And we begin every week with a happy share. That's something that leaves you feeling happy. It's not because of something that happened for your kid, to your parents, for your spouse, or even your best friend. It's something that left you feeling happy. And I always have lots of them because you know when you look for them you find them they're there all the time so I had written a book with a partner and I thought it was going to be published last week and what happened was something came up in his world and he needed to withdraw his part of the book and that left me with oh so now I need to rewrite well I need to write from my viewpoint some of those important chapters that he had put in there now my initial reaction was that gone, but then I thought about there's a whole lot more research that I had wanted to put in that because I'd already sent the manuscript to him, I wasn't able to. So what's cool is this is a book about mental illness. It is reversible and it's also preventable. Now I get to put that much more information into the book. I'm very grateful for that. So, what I started talking about today were these beautiful flowers. In fact, they just grow and they don't try to do anything. What if you could completely trust that the universe, God, source, is leading you exactly where you need to be and taking you down the path to get there in a way that serves your highest and best interest. I used to think that my path through life was filled with detours. There were no detours. Everything that happened in my world got me to where I am today, gave me the experiences that I have to be exactly who I am today. And if I'm ever feeling fear or doubt, what I need to remember is simply trust the universe. Because you know what happens when you express or live in fear, doubt, anxiety? You're basically saying to God, to Source, I don't trust you. I got to do this thing on my own. You're not there for me. Excuse me? I appreciate your going up there and looking on the page that says holding a space for. That means that we are putting energy towards something that somebody wants to manifest. It's not reality yet. Is there something you'd like to create in your world? Maybe it's a different job, a different relationship, maybe better health. Maybe there's some books or music you've been looking for and haven't been able to find. I don't know what it is, but you do. And if you go down here, it will then appear on that page because you wrote it down there. And all of us will see you living in that reality. Now, we don't know who you are, but the universe does. So just knowing your name and what you ask for and everybody's name on the page up there, come back at least once a week. Tell your family and friends to do it too. Read the name, read what people ask for. Because when you're asking yourself, yeah, you're putting a thought form out there. A little one, because you're one person. But what if lots of people do it? That thought form gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It'll come to you soon. 
thanks so much for coming by. Again, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and if you haven't done so already, if you go on over there, leave your name and email, I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. And I do appreciate your click and like and share, because you know what? Not everybody knows that they have a choice about their spirituality, which is different from religion. I wish you a week filled with many blessings and an awareness that there's somebody on your side at all times. Trust. Blessings. Boy, that's not how I thought I was going to do that. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman, and I'm really glad. Yeah, I'm glad. But I'm also, let's do that again.